Today, we're going over the top 10 best units in Dragon Ball Legends. You know, I like to do these basically every month. And although I didn't do one for LF17, I think with the release of Ultra Hit, there has been some noticeable changes within the current top 10, which should be interesting. So let's hop straight into it. So like always, the top 10 is pretty competitive, right? Like especially the bottom portion of the top 10 list, there's always a lot of units you can consider to be like that 9, 8, uh, that 8, 9, 10 spot, right? So first of all, we're going to be starting off with the honorable mentions. I think I have like four honorable mentions here, and then we'll go into the um, number 10. So let's just hop straight into it. We're going to start off with Android 17, the purple GT Android 17. Now, I, he is, he was used, he used to be a top 10 year, but now I do think he slightly um, falls down. You could obviously, like I said, these honorable mentions, you could argue their placement within the top 10 and I wouldn't have any problem with it. But me personally, I have him a bit lower, not necessarily because he got worse. It's just that the units on the top 10 are simply better due to their teams and their usability. GT is still a phenomenal team, but I do think with more releases, you know, units that can cover and all and all that stuff, their, their placement does slightly get lowered a bit. But like I said, GT is still one of the teams I hate facing the most. And honestly, if they get some more releases, I don't think they're going to be getting any releases anytime soon. But if they do and their units still stay relevant, they can see some uh, potential um, rise, right? And with the Tag 4 is going to drop out of boost soon as well. It's just going to inevitably, as well as his guy dropping out of boost, it's going to inevitably bring their value down a bit right so he's gonna be our one of our honorable mention another one i have is super sane blue kaioken goku the ultra um and this is mainly because um with the with the newest additions to the universe rep tag in the form of lf17 and um, ultra hit this kaioken goku has definitely gained a lot of value in that aspect um as well even with jiren being so good as well so kaioken goku is still phenomenal uh, damage does lack a bit and his defense is a very bad, but you know, the strike lock is very crazy. The vanish recovery, the, the green card, he nullifies cover on, um, on main ability. He still has a lot of really good utility and just that strike lock alone is still very annoying and will always be annoying, um, no matter the age, right? So he's going to be another honorable's mention. Next one, we have the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Um, I decided to just add him. I wasn't really planning on adding him to the honorables mention, but you know, he's still a very decent option, especially on future, you know, with Zamasu, future Gohan. He's been, you could argue he's been kind of replaced on future because you can run ultra Gogeta blue on the leader slot and he fulfills the same role. But you know, with LF MVP 17, you know, having that effect where if an enemy, if like, actually if Gogeta rising rushes you, he removes the nullification of endurance because that ability or that buff effect is cancelable. And this guy has endurance nullification and it's uncancelable. So that can be very, very useful. Um, he still does pretty decent damage. He can tank well for a Senkai unit. And then just being paired up with uh, Zamasu and Future Gohan is always a good um, setup right there. So he's going to be there. And then our final honorables mention, it pains me to put him here, but... Ultra Super Vegito is going to be our final um, honorables mention. He, me personally, I would argue him above a bit, but you know, also with the introduction of Ultra Hit being a red unit and a pretty good unit, he, his value does go up down a bit. Fusion War is not in the greatest spot. It's still really good. Don't get me wrong. You could still hit the top ranks with, especially the new um, quote unquote new variant with, you know, Pan and him and Ultra Gogeta Blue. It's still very good and he's still very good, right? But like I said, um, Fusion War's value has decreased slightly. Him, you know, being like over six months old at this point, he's, he's like the oldest unit on this list, right? Other than like the Zenkai units. So, um, honestly, I <laughs> really hope he gets his Ultra Plat soon, which would be really cool. But uh, for now, we're going to be having him at the Honorable's Mention, arguably number 10 from me personally, maybe I would put him number 10. I had to record this literally after I recorded the whole video, but another unit that I forgot to mention in the Honorable's Mention is this Trunks and Vegeta. Obviously, they can still perform and put in the work. So I, 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 just, I just completely forgot about them, but they definitely deserve a spot in the honorables mention. Um, obviously, being a yellow unit with, you know, hit running around is not the greatest, but, you know, they can switch out their elements, which is always a plus. So um, that's really good for them. They can still do some pretty good damage. Obviously, not the greatest. Uh, no, damage wise, they're really good. They're, they're really good. Um, but defense wise, they're going to, they're not that great. Um, cover no is very short which is, uh, is which is kind of bad since you can't combo into that much you really have to click your cards back and forth so and then future you don't 
honestly, you don't really run this guy on future. Like, you're better off running future Gohan. And then on God Key, I guess God Key, you can run it, but, you know, you want to kind of prioritize Strike over Blast, if anything, since of, because of Gojia Blue. Um, but it could still, you can still make it work. But uh, I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen any single God Key team ever since 17's release and maybe Hit's release. So, God Key is kind of low-key right now, but... They, de they definitely still deserve a spot in the honorables mention. Our non -numbers t non number 10 spot, we have LF Jiren. Jiren has always been kind of weird. I, I feel like Jiren has always been good ever since he got his platinum equipment. Uh, prior to that, he was on the underwhelming side. I think he was a bit overrated on release, but he's very good right now. Uh, we get the, with the endurance. He does really good damage post rush. Um, and he and it's it's good because he's usually ran alongside LF uh, 17, right? And 17, for the most cases, can tank the rush because the only unit, only meta relevant unit right now that's rising rushing and nullifying endurance is Ultra Gojira Blue, and 17 can uh, pretty much cancel that, right? So if he's able to cancel that, that means he's gonna tank the rush, and Jiren is gonna get his um, endurance, he's gonna get his buffs, he's gonna get his nullify cover, so it works out in the end for him. And once he gets rolling, he does get rolling. He's also with the new Platinum Universe Rep Platinum equipment. He's very tanky. If you build him like a tank, he's extremely tanky. And he can dish out really good damage post-rush. So his value right now is really, really high. Especially with two of the other units um, that are in this top 10 being Universe Rep. If they consistently start buffing Universe Rep, which I don't think... Th I think they're going to lay off a bit um, for these upcoming months. And they're going to start buffing them again when we reach um, Anniversary. But for now, like, Universe Rep is potentially, I would say it's easily a top 5 team. You could argue even higher, um, but it's in a good spot right now. And Jiren is one of the core members there, so that's why he's at our number 10 spot. Coming in at number 9, we have LF Future Gohan, the unit that just doesn't want to die. It's pretty ironic because he basically got killed easily um, in, in the future by the androids. But in this game, he doesn't seem to want to die, even with one arm. Uh, this guy, man... I I, I bet we've been just talking too much over this dude. There's really nothing left to say about him, right? He does crazy support. He has endurance. He disrupts really well. He supports. He does everything seemingly well. And honestly, he can put in the work as a damage dealer as well. I pulled up some 1v3 comebacks as well. Back when I was using hybrid with Beast going and Pan. Um, like he can put, he can definitely put in work uh, offensively as well. And is he's just, he's just that guy, man. He's a great leader slot unit for any team that you need him. Uh, need him to be and he's just really good but his value has decreased slightly just because of you know ultra hits uh release being red and all um he does go neutral once he gets a dead ally so that's that will help mitigate that but dude this guy man i don't know if he's ever gonna truly age out like because the thing is like he's really not used mainly for his offensive capability or his defensive capability it's all through his utility and that utility will be good forever, right? So it's it's pretty crazy that he's still here two years after his release. I don't think there's been a unit that has aged as well as him. He's easily the best aging unit of all time. Like no unit has really lived that long within the meta. And him being a top 10 unit two years after his release just speaks volume on this character, man. He's just, he's ridiculous. And someone just killed this guy. Coming in at number 8, we have Pan. Pan definitely has seen quite a decrease, uh, a fall off, quote unquote fall off since her release. You know, being a top 2 unit in the game on release to being a basically top 10. I mean, you, this is not, not like a bad thing, right? Being a top 10 unit is not a bad thing. She's consistently seeing play time in top rank PvP. And you can honestly argue that she deserves to be higher, right? Um, but obviously she doesn't do the craziest damage. She's not meant to be, first of all. She she was doing damage for no reason on release. Like it was ridiculous why she was doing that much damage. But now she's coming back to where she was supposed she's supposed to be. Um tanking wise, not the greatest, but you know, it really comes down to her supporting. Um her arts power down, that's ridiculous. The amount of key she re reduces, main ability, green card, locks in, sub count reduction. There's just way too many things that she's doing. And it's she's she's crazy like i've said this since her release every team needs a unit like this pan the the way she reduces key and all this stuff now people might say like 
that shit's annoying and stuff, which I agree it is, but that's only because we're so used to units being able to combo forever and ever. And then once you get a unit like this that is able to disrupt your combo and cut it short, people get annoyed, right? Which makes sense. So it's funny because people complain about all these um, long ass combos, but then they complain about her being a t like annoying because she's stopping all these combos, right? So, you know, you can never be happy with how things are, but I do think she's needed for this game. Uh, but I don't think she's, uh, I don't think it's only, should be only reserved to one team, right? Every meta relevant team deserves a unit like this. Um, <clears throat> fusions, please. And, you know, it, that'll be a good thing, right? So she's at number eight, definitely has seen her value drop a bit just because, um, you know, losing boost and all that stuff. And just the other units, first of all, being on boost and being good. So there, there's that. As a support unit, being number eight, I think it's pretty damn good. It's cr it's still crazy to me that she was number two in the game uh, back when she was released. But there's a pan number eight. Moving on to number seven, we have Zenkai LF Forku. Um, you can, I don't think he has an argument for top five anymore. Just because GT as a team as well has decreased a bit um so similar reasons to the purple 17 um uh, you know him needing a dead ally also for him to start get rolling you know getting the nullify endurance and not nullify endurance, the nullify cover and all that stuff um is somewhat of a restriction obviously but you know i've seen many people say this you know when you go up against gt once with a team that has cover and all which all meta relevant teams have at this point um they really can't do anything to stop the combo right you know 17 is able to um does 17 reduce key? I forgot. But, you know, 17 is able to mitigate that a bit be just due to being a tanky unit, right? But this guy, he wants to cover change, cover rescue, and stop the combo, right? So, but if you have units that can cover null very easily, like Beast Gohan, um, Ultra Godrita Blue, and, and whatnot, even Hit, you know, can get cover null from his green card um, just forever, anytime, right? It really gets hard for GT to really stop people's combos um, and not just completely get one shot, right? But uh, GT is still a very good team. This guy is still a very hard hitting unit, especially with a uh, member, ally member down. Ultimate still hits like a truck. Um, what what spot did we have him at? Seven? Yeah, seven. So I don't think that's a terrible spot, especially considering the state that GT is in. Because you got to understand, like, GT is only, like, three unit, three color. I mean, then again, like, most teams are just three color, right? They don't, you don't really run full color wheels nowadays in PvP. You just run your three main units, potentially a fourth one, and you just try to Zenka buff your main teams. That's basically how you want to build your teams nowadays. It's just how it is. So, you can't really fault these guys in having only three colors. Does he have any Zenkai buffs? He has his own, so that's really good. Uh, the only other one, I think, is the GT Vegeta, if you want to kind of buff the team. Um, GT Vegeta's Z ability is not the greatest, so you probably wouldn't want to run him there. Um, but yeah, I, I still do think he's a good unit, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, none of these units are bad, dude. These are like top 10 units, but I do think with the the, the recent releases of Universe Rep, it kind of does bring his value down a bit, right? So we're going to have him at number 7. Moving on to number 6, we have Ultra Hit. Yes. You might be surprised, potentially. Maybe you might think he's like top three or something. Um, initially, upon seeing him, you know, I thought maybe he was going to be top five. But after using him more and more, uh, I've come to realize that his time stop is very, very easy to counter. Like, it's actually kind of ridiculous how easy it is to counter. You can only, really only use it reliably when you're in a combo or when you vanish out of someone's attack, right? Because anytime you use it just like at point blank range, mid range, or anything like that, they can very easily stop it. And even then, once you're in the time stop, you get a minus 50% of damage reduction, which is weird. And then obviously you can't even rush, right? So there's a lot of lot of restriction placed onto his time stop, which is his main asset, right? This guy is even up here just because of that time stop. Um, so just because of all those restrictions, they wanted to make sure this guy wasn't going to be busted, right? And obviously did a good job. He's not busted at all, but he's still very good and very fun to use. The time stop mechanic, be, you know, anytime using a new mechanic is fun because you're experiencing new things within the game and it makes it fresh, right? So kudos to them for even trying to um, implement something like this. And I think they did a good, pretty good job despite all the restrictions. Now, other than that, I do think his damage is pretty good. 
he is on a really good team with Jiren and 1717 being really ridiculous. Um, he is pretty fragile. Uh, easily gets incinerated. Uh, he's not very tanky. Obviously, Beast Gohan being so common in PvP, he can easily just get rid of him. Uh, one of the biggest complaints I've seen with this guy, other than the time stop, is that he has no neutral, which is really, uh, it's really bad, I guess, for, especially if you want to really crack into that top five. Um, it, it, you kind of need neutral, especially being a red unit with so many blue units running around, so many meta relevant blue units like uh, Beast Gohan, 17, Zamasu. Those are three. Um, uh, it's a spoiler, but three top five uh, units and they're blue. So that's already a big disadvantage for him. And especially being neutral, he doesn't, uh, he's not able to compete defensively, right? But offensively, he can really put in the work, especially since he has that 50% um, damage to blue units, right? Uh, well, 60% because you have to stack it twice. So that actually is a pretty noticeable difference. Like people might like, you know, downplay this. And obviously it's not as good as having just straight up neutral, but this is still a very good effect. 60% damage. You can actually tell the difference when utilizing them. Like you can probably go back and see some of my videos where I'm showcasing this guy. You see that I'm actually surprised at how much damage he's doing to blue units. It's, it's pretty noticeable. So in that end, it's pretty good, but you know, it doesn't really help out defensively, especially with a lot of these heavy hitters like Beast Golan that can pretty much one shot you with a blue card right so um that's pretty much all i have to say for hit uh number six i think i'm comfortable having him at number six you could argue potentially that he's a number five uh, but me personally i have him right outside the number five top five spot at number six we have ultra hit so cracking the number five we have the blue zamasu a phenomenal sparking a one percent sparking by the way Dropped alongside Trunks of Vegeta, and he ended up being the best unit on that banner. Um, it's pretty crazy, right? He does so much endurance, green card nullifying, and he has more consistent cover null than Trunks and Vegeta. Like, that's crazy. He's able to draw that green card on its main ability, healing. Um, does he, I'm pretty sure he has support, right? Does he have support anywhere? 10% uh, to allies health restoration, there's that. And then I could be wrong, um, there's that. Um, does he not, wait, am I stupid or does he not buff, uh, allies? Um, I guess not. Okay, here. Uh, when any, every, he, he gives additional 20% of damage inflicted if own remaining health is below 50 or whatever, uh, after enemy uses art start. So he does add, add some support as well. He has arts power down, I believe, um, somewhere in here. Um... Right here and fix all enemy with 40% special move ultimate awaken arts power down. That's a very strong mechanic with the instruction of Pan. Uh, and he, 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 the biggest surprise with this unit, you know, he's a defense type uh, and he does all this stuff utility wise and he still does pretty good damage. Like, that's crazy. Um, reminds me a lot of USV without the utility part because USV is labeled at a, as a defense type, but he's very heavily oriented in his offensive capability. Um, this guy, he has the utility side and the defensive side down, but he can still perform offensively. So it really reminds me of a USV with a lot of utility wise. And he just fits super well as a leader on basically any team as well. A very great leader unit. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've said most of all the good stuff in my, like, uh, in a lot of my other tier lists, but this dude unit is just a really great unit. Um, like I said, with Pan, I do think every team needs someone like this Pan or Zamasu. I kind of used them both interchangeably as a unit that every every team needs. And he, he's just phenomenal, right? And he's 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 obviously going to see some fall off once he's off boost. Um, but I don't think it's going to be as drastic as a, as, a, um, as a lot of these other units. Simply because he's a defense type. And he's, he's still going to be somewhat of a tanky unit off boost, right? So Zamasu is at our number five. Number four, we have the Tag 4s. Tag 4s, similar explanations to the other GT units, you know, have seen um, a bit of decrease in their value because of some recent releases. But honestly, Tag 4s didn't see that much of a decrease just because they're such a phenomenal unit. Tag 4s are just insanely good. Um, blue card restoring vanish, infinite card just be cover null on switch ability. Green card is annoying as hell. Seems like they always have a green card. Able to switch their um, element disadvantage. Um, they have a lot of things going on for them. And <clears throat> just because GT has slightly decreased, I would say they slightly go down. But um, they're still a phenomenal unit. Like, if it wasn't for the top three, these guys would be obviously a bit higher. But 
there isn't really much else to say about these this unit it's just super super good i am still interested how they're going to perform after boost that's been a major concern for a lot of people uh ever since their release because you know they're not the most tankiest unit um in the game right so especially with these tag units they like to somewhat like um Give them kind of weird stats defensively so i'm interested to see how they're going to perform off boost it's going to be a really big um pivot point for them so we're going to see how that goes i do think there should be coming off boost soon right I mean, maybe like next pvp reset i could be wrong but it should be soon and when that time comes i will probably make a showcase to see how they fun function so attack force are number four on this list number three we have the goat himself lf mvp 17 dude if you guys watch any of my recent videos you probably hear me gas this unit up he's so crazy man he's so good he's so good like the arts power down on blue card all that stuff whatever the endurance the buff effect nullification because that the, the, the thing that's crazy is that buff effect for removing uh, that the cancel buff effects applies to ultimates as well that nullify endurance like that's crazy you literally can't nullify this guy's endurance unless you're a unit like rose or the droids who have endurance nullification uncancelable so it's crazy and then he does crazy damage ultimate hits really hard um does he have any i don't think he has support i could be wrong let me just search up allies uh he has uh, he buffs effect to allies rising rush damage is insane though to allies that's crazy uh my 72 uh, arts card he gains his vanish 80 percent every time he vanishes once activates once every time um he switches in so he has that once um that's crazy uh his green card gives him cover null once his gauge is full i almost forgot he has a gauge to be honest because it's uh I, I almost forgot his card draw speed uh and then damage inflicted to universe rep and androids the one thing i will say about this unit which was something that uh was pointed out especially once he released excuse me um is that his gauge takes a while to um a while to fill up that was a major a common complaint with people um especially uh, with people regarding dragon fist goku i remember back in the days that was also one of my complaints um because it takes a while for him to rank uh, to stack that up but let me tell you once he does fill up that gauge he becomes an absolute monster crazy unit well designed crazy unit it's a unit that this universe rep team definitely needed as, as a as a foundation for their team starting up and i think they they, they hit the nail on the coffin like it, this is a perfect unit for this tag for them to build upon and he's he's i think he's gonna age extremely well like the stuff that he has in his kit are things that are going to age exceptionally well he's gonna be like he has the potential to be like a future go on esque unit that's going to um stand the test of time and potentially be within the top 10 of these lists the one downside is maybe his teams won't be as viable as future gohan but we have the leader slot ability which future gohan has taken advantage of that quite often um so that's definitely helped him out and i do think it's going to help this guy out tremendously as we continue and his value is always going only going to go up from here especially with the later buffs that we're going to get like universe rep is going to get some more buffs as we go on down the year i do think the anniversary is lining up to be more universe rep related especially part one so when that time comes he's going to be probably still a top three unit which is insane to me so lf17 at our number three spot next we have of course this man right here beast gohan i don't really is there really anything left i don't think i want to say anything else for these two like beast gohan and Go, goji Bli are going to be our number two and number one spot i don't think there's really much to say we've been down here it's been several months since uh, he released it's been a month pretty much since goji blue released seen pretty much everywhere in pvp they do everything cover null one shot everyone blue card spam all the time they can tank well decently well um goji blue's gauge basically of um allows you to not play the game if you have a full hand of blast cards um they have seemingly endless blue cards endless cover no i already said that um they're in like 99 percent of the matches is there really anything else to say i mean there isn't there isn't these two are clearly the best units in the game i don't really think that's a debate they're on the they're on a tier of their own i do think they're like on the top tier and then we have 17 and the rest on the second tier they're on god tier they're they're just they're the best like there <laughs> there's really nothing to say about these guys 
you've seen it we've seen it we've all seen it they're the best in the game so that's gonna be it for this top 10s list so definitely let me know if you guys agree or disagree what you agree what you would change in this list and let me know what your top 10 is probably not your top five because it's most likely going to be somewhat similar with the top three and stuff but let me know where you would rank hit and lf17 those are probably the main units that i want to know where you guys have them placed as um so yeah i'm interested to know what you guys have to say so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because it's so important so don't forget on have a great day see ya